What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more Idle Heroes, and today we are going back to our free-to-play account because, well, we have Starland Arena, something that we can do for the first time ever because we finally have five Awakened Heroes. We are still sitting and waiting with our Contract Starry Gems and our Seat Minus Awakening until we get to a Soul Awakening session. Until then, we are going to have to be very, very patient. The only Awakenings we've gotten so far, well... If I order it by this, you can see we literally got five of them and they were all free awakenings. That's the only things we've done. But now that we have that, we can jump into Starland Arena. Number one, something you should do every single day, even if you are not registered for Starland Arena, you need to go to the leaderboard and you need to hit thumbs up three times here. If you do that, you get 10 gems for each. Not a ton, but over the course of the event, it does add up. So we're going to jump in here and we're going to be taking a look at the amulets because different amulets unlock based on the number of points you have these are just going to be little types of buffs or debuffs for the enemies based on which ones you pick now they get stronger based on the awakening tier your hero has but uh some of them are good other ones not so much you want to select five of these and we're going to go for the ones that seem like they have the best overall chance of winning now i really don't think we're gonna have a good chance of winning this at all uh, but essentially you need to pick your amulets and then what you need to do is go into your uh actually i guess you have to wait to go into your team yeah so we're gonna try to get some victories but as you guys can see most opponents we're going up against are gonna be very strong we're gonna try to beat teams that are possible to beat but again Chances are not going to happen. Um, we do have to put one hero on each lineup here, which is kind of the sketchy part about this because this is where it gets tricky. And we also have to assign pets. Uh, and the stupid thing is you have to assign your pets in order, which feels so bad. So yeah, chances are we are not going to have any of this work for us uh we're gonna go for what additional holy damage armor break sure something like that this is gonna be our team but again this is not going to go well we're gonna battle and we are going to lose the chance of us getting any points is going to be slim to none because our team is extremely extremely weak and you can see here most people we're going up against have at least a couple e5 heroes like we're winning the last two our problem is we can't win another battle uh and i don't think at this point we can make can we make a carry i was gonna say if we can level up this carry a bit might be possible we got four copies of carry already we can use one chest for a fifth copy what do we have then one two three four so that makes the six star then we have one yeah the fact that we made a six star this week feels kind of bad uh and beyond that we would need to well i mean we have an awakening on her so that does work uh, we're not building up a trisha and we don't really have anything else awaken and like i said i'm not using an awakening on like a 10 star that's going to be food or anything like that so sadly this is about as far as our adventure goes you do get one free refresh a day which is good however uh like i said i don't think we're ever holy cow we actually beat another team <laughs> um oh yeah there, there actually is potential to beat some other teams here that's pretty intriguing if I switch these two up, um, I think we get another win. And any wins and any points we can get are extremely, extremely good. It just depends on what the enemy teams look like. Like right here, we can definitely beat, we could probably beat these three teams. So if we go in here, actually, yeah, if we could just move our heroes around a little bit. Wait, hold on. I want to, yeah, I think we actually have a chance to even beat this one, which is. Kind of interesting to say the least if we swap those two around i think we win all last three battles oh no i messed up the ordering so when you do fight the entirety of the list it will auto refresh it for you but again like in this situation right here we can definitely get a victory here this is going to be not bad because we have a level 100 hero and can be a level uh one hero so it really just comes down to putting them in the correct order and once again um 
Should be able to do something like, oh no, they have a 10 star. That was a little difficult. You might have to look around to see which ones have some really crappy heroes. Like again, this one, we can definitely win. If we go against the first two and the last one, this will work just fine. If we do something along the lines of this, we should be able to get three victories. And again, the whole point is to get three out of five victories and that will net us some points. So yeah, this is definitely something we can do. This is actually really good. This is really, really good. Um, they need to swap some of these around, I think, right? We want to go for the last three there. Uh, but yeah, this is promising. They just have a lot of random awakened heroes. And even though their account power is extremely high, it's not that big of a deal at this point. I want to do something like that. I think that gets the victory for us. Yep, another victory. So playing smart, manipulating your teams. Oh, yeah, that's that same person we were looking at before. Uh, we can beat this one, too. We can definitely beat this one. So we're going to go Eloise on two, Ticks on five. Eloise on two. Picks on five and do it something like that. And I think that gives us a win as well. But yeah, just playing the game. And then we don't want to go against that one team. So we're going to refresh and see if there's anybody else we can beat here. Uh, definitely looks like that's possible. So we kind of want to go for three, four, and eh, five is a little iffy. I actually don't know if we can beat a Natalia. I feel like this is going to be our best chance at a victory here. And we did get a victory, so we are gaining points, and that's important because at 260 points, uh, we're still in the bottom tier, which is not great. But the important thing is we're going to get gems every single day, and we're also going to be getting these silver coin star lands. At the end of the season, too, uh, you know, we get some badges that aren't going to do anything, but we do get a bunch of gems. We do get some resources, and we do get a big chunk of these silver coins of Starland. Those silver coins, really important because these are going to get us cores of transcendence. It can get us stellar shards. It can get us a whole bunch of different materials. Now, most of the things here are not things you're going to want to go for as like uh, early game free to play. Uh, these two up here are the main two. You're going to try to save up get 800 of uh, one or the other, whichever way you want to go with it. And like I said, you get 60, 60 per day. Uh, and this last how many days? I actually forget how many days this overall event lasts. Uh, either way, though, as a free to play, this is absolutely amazing. Of course, we will hopefully get up to higher tiers, which will get us more coins. But again, at the very least, we'll get 1800 at the end of the season. That'll get us a couple cores or some stellar shards or whatever we need. So Starland Arena is here. Make sure you guys are participating. Upgrade your heroes as much as possible. And hopefully you have five of them by now. You should technically have five just like me, even if you haven't spent any single contract starry gems or awakening resin stuff. So hopefully you guys enjoy this one. See you guys next time.